turn to page 394. It's time to talk about libraries. <laughs> Okay, so, still recovering from a cold. I think I'm pretty much there now. I better be, because I'm starting to get the rain. But, um, I have to do dog walk. No baby baby this time, because it's raining. Uh, also, no fireworks display tonight, so we get to record some video. Because normally, I don't record on the weekend. So, it's a library event. Now, there's been a lot of confusion about this event. Uh, so, hopefully we've clear some stuff up. Um, it's been like, I don't know. 18 hours or something since it's released. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through a bit of background and what will be spawning and where to find libraries. So a bit of background. It's International Games Week at Libraries, which is an initiative by ALA, which is the American Library Association. Now libraries across the world will be participating in this event. So there's a few links in the description for this video. Uh, one is of the libraries that are participating in the games event. Um, and there's another link to OpenStreetMap for you to find your own libraries. Um, the two are not the same. But if possible, you may want to go to a library which is doing a proper games event because you'll you know, be able to do Wizards Unite and also participate in the other wider community uh, playing like board games and stuff at libraries. Will you also find yourself liking a new hobby in the meantime? Because I also play board games. So with the advent of the Kindle and other key services, uh, libraries have been struggling a lot over the last few years. Well, more than a few years, like tens of years. But looking into becoming more of a social hub and uh, doing things for the community, uh, such as board games so people can get together and uh, play together and socialise, which is really good. And also get to know people in your local area. So you can kind of see where this aligns with Niantic strategies about building community and things like that. So which is pretty good. So if you do participate in the event, uh, be sure to check out the library itself that you're visiting. Uh, to help support them, you might, you know, find they're doing some pretty cool social things during the week that you might be interested in. So back to our world, the wizarding world. So what will we see spawning? Well, I am going to put on the screen as I read these out, my current status in these animals. And you'll find that really there's only really one I'm interested in. And it's probably the same one you're interested in. But let's have a look. So the first one is Luna Lovegood. Neville Longbottom, Hermione Granger, Hermione Sprout, Phileas Flitwick, Ronald Weasley, and a Quidditch tryout Seamus Finnegan. So in regards to the spawns, it always seems like when I do these events, we will have like one spawn, which is something more rare, and everything else seems to be very common. Um, and we can understand why don't make them all super rare ones, because they don't want us to complete our registry too fast. So you kind of get like, this is the like star of the show kind of fanable. And then you have their friends. Kind of like how it works. So if you need any of these, and I guess you probably need Hermione, like I do, uh, we need to find libraries. Now, there is going around a list of participating libraries, but this is not the libraries you're looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Well, it's not the library list we're looking for, that's for sure. Because these are not the same list as the libraries which will be having the spawns. So the best way to work things out, the number one way, is to go in-game. And if you know where your library is and you're over there, uh, you should see a flag location of Hogwarts School. So if your local library is a flag location for Hogwarts School, it should have these funky spawns. So if your local library isn't listed, maybe like a very small library or community library or something like that, then fear no more. Because what you could also do, instead of going around to every single library around you to find out if they're actually in-game, you could check OpenStreetMap. A lot of the game data comes from OpenStreetMap. Things like just banks and stuff all come from OpenStreetMap. So if you go to OpenStreetMap, uh, look out for libraries on there, then hopefully in-game they should be in-game as well, as libraries and as flag locations. Now bearing in mind, you don't have to have an inn or greenhouse or a fortress at the library. It just needs to be a flag location. For example, in my town centre, I have a flag location for Dark Arts, which is associated with banks. And my bank has a little flag sticking out the top of it to indicate that that's the part of the map which is making it Dark Arts. Uh, my bank isn't an inn or a greenhouse or anything like that, you see. So the uh, flag locations are separate to our waypoints. 
in greenhouses, fortresses, all called waypoints. So yeah, so if you find your library on OpenStreetMap, then it's a pretty good chance that it's going to be in-game. Now the event is going to run. Train. So the event in-game will run from Sunday, the 3rd of November, at 8 a.m. local time, until Sunday, the 9th of November, at 5 p.m. local time. So you get like a full week. Now there's nothing else major coming out about this. Now I would suggest that you well, for one, follow me on Twitter. Follow me. For one, follow me on Twitter uh, because I've put all the latest news on there. And also, there's a link below to the Hub article that goes along with this, and it's a working document. So, a link below to the Hub article. So be sure to check that, you know, just before the event starts to make sure that is up to date. And also, during the first few hours of the event, check my Twitter, check the Hub, uh, because as we play, initially play the event, we may discover a few things uh, and we'll put them on there. Much against popular belief, in the end, take, don't tell us secrets. So I hope that helps clear a few things up about the library stuff. Uh, any questions, uh, ask me. Um, I also have contacts in the hub and a few other places as well. So ask me questions and we can get the YouTubers and the hub and whatever to kind of together. Uh, we have our own private discords and stuff. Um, so we can chat and help answer your questions. So leave me questions below because I'm a small channel so I will see your questions. So let me know below what you think. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, follow me on Twitter for the latest news and everything like that. Let me know what you think of this like small event below. Um, it's quite nice that we're getting these so quickly. Uh, fortunately, I was planning to do other videos, which obviously had to go on a back burner now because there's so many events coming out, but yeah, it's really cool. So nothing else to say, but get your ones ready. Brush up on your spells, we'll see you next time.